we're going to transfer uh, a file from one laptop to the other going through the Cal Radio device. Aaron Zhao is a graduate student who is conducting his thesis research with the help of Cal Radio, a system that promises to give academic and industry researchers unparalleled flexibility to test and develop new wireless devices and algorithms. It was developed at UC San Diego by the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology, CalIT2. Principal development engineer Douglas Palmer calls Cal Radio a software-defined radio because it allows software to be used all the way down to the basic physical layer, a freedom traditionally reserved for engineers at the big wireless chip manufacturing companies. Researchers have the capability of getting into the MAC, which is a media access control layer of a radio or a telecommunications device, and the physical layer through simple software. Generally, t uh, to this day, that has been done in silicon, and people don't have access to it. We're trying to get it down to where graduate students, universities, research centers can do the same thing. And thus, we hatched uh, Cal IT2's Cal Radio. It took 18 months to develop the first version of Cal Radio for internal use, including communication systems for disaster management, but it took another two years to get it ready for prime time. Now it's becoming more widely available and researchers have expressed interest in the development platform for a wide range of uses, including multiple input, multiple output signal processing, embedded processing, chip design, dynamic equalization, and much more. Cal IT2 engineers, for example, have already used the platform to test mathematical formulas for power management and control. Looking at energy levels and the broadcast energy and receive energy versus uh, error rates and what we can do to improve that, uh, punch through and communications to see if we can punch through clutter and noise, generally altering many of the algorithms in 802.11b media access control to improve them for ad hoc networking, mesh networking, and point-to-point. Uh, -point. What you're seeing here is th the main digital signal processing board that includes memory, LED indicators, Ethernet interface, power input and control, and serial port. It has A to D and D to A converters, a lot of features that are, can be used very highly effectively in the development of it and monitoring of it. There's a mezzanine card here, which is the RF module, which contains all of the RF components plus a baseband transceiver. The DSP is, sits on the main board and it communicates through a connector on the back here. And it all makes a very compact package. Cal Radio runs UC Linux, which makes it very easy to download development code from any box running Linux. In particular, this is for applications such as uh, mesh networking, uh, long-range communications, and pulling yourself into a world where 802.11 radios have not operated before, such as mobile and fixed-link transceivers and point-to-multipoint, ad hoc, many, many applications. So, it should be a very powerful general purpose uh, communications tool. Engineers developing applications such as software-defined radio systems, distributed sensor networks, and low-cost point-to-point communications can modify the radio channel, the size of the packets, the way they are routed, and more. We're going to use 802.11b channel 1 uh, for communication between the two units. Um, and let's use a fairly low power level, given how close these units are to each other. The MAC, or Media Access Control Interface on Cal Radio, is written in C, cross-compiled and loaded through the Ethernet interface as a kernel module. So to make any changes to the MAC protocol, all that is required is to recompile and reload a kernel module, as opposed to modifying hardware. And what I'm going to do is open up a SSH Secure Shell, and I'm going to log into this laptop over here from, uh, from this side of the table. And you know, of course, the only link between the two is through Cal Radio. This significantly reduces the, uh, the cycle time when you, you know, when you want to change your design. Indeed, Cal Radio can speed up the entire wireless R&D cycle. Typically, when you're doing research, it's the rep repetitive uh, work at it, refine it, work, refine, work, refine. And the time of that cycle is absolutely critical. If you're 
compiling to very difficult circumstances in assembly code or FPGAs and VHDL that can extend that period vastly. If you can do, code it in straight C, download it, and do it in a several minute basis, that will, speeds up re research vastly. Cal IT2 recently shipped its first Cal Radio production model, and it's now taking orders. The expected $2,500 price tag barely covers costs, but it's the promise of new flexibility that has led roughly 100 groups to inquire about using Cal Radio in their research. <laughs>